Thames Valley Police Force will hold a one-minute silence at 11 o'clock to remember PC Andrew Harper, who was killed in the line of duty last week. Colleagues in his hometown of Wallingford say they are moved by the amount of support they've received from the community. Well, we can talk to our reporter, Louisa Curry, who's there for us this morning. Louisa, good morning. And understandably, um, it's been a very emotional time and, as the police force has described, very moved by the support from the community. Absolutely. I mean, there's been a huge outpouring of sympathy and support across the country, but nowhere more so than here in PC Harper's hometown of Wallingford. Now, it all started uh, with a small business just on the outskirts of town owned by a friend who wanted to show his support. Uh, so he put a piece of blue ribbon across his business sign, a, a thin blue line, as he called it. And it went from there. He was inundated with requests, people asking if they could have some ribbon too to put in their shop windows. Now, we're here in the centre of town. Uh, this uh, shopping street lots of stores here have the ribbon inside it's it's not easy to spot it's quite subtle um, some just a piece of ribbon no explanation others like this one here have uh, PC Harper's name written on them now this store owner uh, told me she'd never uh, met PC Harper and didn't know his family but she felt moved and compelled to join uh, this uh, tribute she also spoke uh, quite movingly of uh, the town's pride in the work that he and his colleagues have been doing to uh, protect the community now this isn't the only tribute that's going to be taking place today as you say uh, Thames Valley Police are organizing a, a minute's silence uh, and that's going to be taking place at around 11 o'clock this morning Louisa thank you very much um, reporting there from Wallingford now, Thames Valley Police Force will hold a one-minute silence at 11 o'clock today to remember colleague PC Andrew Harper. The 28-year-old was killed in the line of duty last week. Uh, let's go to Wallingford and speak to the Deputy Police and Crime Commissioner for Thames Valley, Matthew Harper. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, 11 o'clock, uh, this uh, minute silence will take place. Give us a sense of what, what people have been saying in the run-up. Obviously, uh, thoughts first and foremost with uh, Andy Harper's family um, and his close friends who have suffered such a terrible loss in the last week. Obviously, we're a week on now from the, from the tragic news we woke up to last Friday morning. It, it's hit the force uh, hard, as you would expect, and indeed across the policing family. Uh, but the tributes that have been paid uh, by the public uh, to Andy have been a huge support, I think, to officers uh, across Tepcom. Yes, getting a real sense, and maybe you can tell us a little more about that, of how the local community uh, have responded. Well, I think you know, there's, a, there's an increased recognition of the, of the risk that police officers uh, put, themselves, um, put themselves at day in and day out to, to keep the public safe. And we've seen uh, flowers being delivered uh, first year. Last weekend, flowers were being delivered to the, to the scene of the incident uh, near Sullumstead. Uh, but at police stations across the Thames Valley, tributes have been paid. Uh, and we've had some rip reports uh, across the patch of notes being left on, uh, on windscreens of police cars, uh, people just going up to police officers and thanking them for the, for the service they have and, and make sure they feel okay uh, given the given the tragic news and Matthew Barber I know you're deputy police and crime commissioner for Thames Valley I think one of the things that's emerged from this is if people didn't think about it already a, a lot of people thinking a lot about the nature of the work that the police more generally and across the UK are required to do on a, on a daily basis Absolutely. Policing uh, always has been and always will be an inherently dangerous job and I think we need to recognise that every time a police officer puts on that uniform they are putting themselves in harm's way uh, and they're doing it to keep us, the public, safe uh, and it's tragic that Andy lost his life uh, in such horrific circumstances uh, just over a week ago but today is for, for remembering Andy and paying tribute to the sacrifice that he made. Matthew Barber, thank you for your time this morning. Thames Valley Police Force will hold a one-minute silence at 11 o'clock to remember PC Andrew Harper, who was killed in the line of duty last week. Colleagues in his hometown of Wallingford say they're moved by the amount of support they've received from the community. We can talk to our reporter, Louisa Curry, who's there for us this morning. And, Louisa, it's been very um, evident, as you're going to show us, of just how much support the community is giving to the force and sending their condolences. 
Absolutely. I mean, PC Harper's death has resonated across the country, but nowhere more so than here in Wallingford, where uh, thin blue lines of ribbon have appeared in uh, shops and businesses right across the town, uh, including this one uh, here. You can see PC Harper's name there. Uh, and joining me is uh, co-owner of the store, Karen Masters. Karen, uh, you'd never met PC Harper. No. You don't know his family, uh, but you still felt hugely compelled to, to in include yourself in this in this silent tribute absolutely yes I came back and I first saw them on the doors and it was just immensely emotional to see and I, I know as a town that we want to support the family I mean it's a devastating thing that's happened um, he went out to do his job and he lost his life and we want to show our respect and this is our small way of doing that and is this indicative of the kind of place that Wallingford is? Absolutely, yeah. Wallingford is a very close-knit town and we all look after each other and we support each other. And any time of tragedy, we all come together. And how did you feel when, obviously, so many of these have now sprung up all across the town? How does it feel when you see how many people have joined in? Um, I think it's a, a lovely show of respect and we're very proud of PC Harper and we wanted to show that and we hope the family can see that we wanted to show that. It's our small way of showing a little bit of respect, you know, a lot, a lot of respect to the family at this terrible time and to see all the other shop owners and everybody joining in, it's been very emotional and, you know, it did sort of make me shed a tear for sure. Yeah, it's very, very emotional. Karen, thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. Now, this isn't the only tribute that we're going to be hearing today for PC Andrew Harper. Thames Valley Police have announced that they will be holding a minute's silence later this morning. That'll be at 11 o'clock. Louisa, thank you very much. Louisa Curry there for us in Wallingford, the hometown of PC Andrew Harper. Let's go back to one of our main stories now. The death of PC Andrew Harper has been marked in his hometown with blue ribbons attached to doorways and displayed in windows. PC Harper grew up and lived in Wallingford in Oxfordshire. He died while attending a reported break-in last week. Well, we're now joined by Andy Ledbury, a friend of PC Harper's, who began this blue ribbon campaign. Um, thank you very much for joining us, um, Andy. Um, First of all, I'd like to say I'm sorry for your loss of your friend. Um, and you're here to talk to us about, to tell us just what kind of man PC Andrew Harper was. He was uh, just a really nice chap, the nicest chap you could wish to meet. Always smiling, always happy. I think really, um, if you'd given us the text to Lissy's letter last week, everybody that knew him would have put his name to that how you first got to know him because um, you've known him the best part of what 10 years yes and how did you get to know him how did your friendship develop uh, uh, I was friends with Lissy's parents and um, Andrew came to work for me uh, with a roofing business and um, everybody took to Andrew straight away it's uh, very easy to to see he was always smiling he's always happy um, yes just a really nice chap and um, the Blue Ribbon tribute that you've begun and we've been seeing earlier with our reporter showing us that lots of the stores, lots of people in the community have taken on as well. Um, there's been a big reaction. What does this ribbon signify? Um, the ribbon signified it started because we were just such a state of shock and wanted to do something to show our respect to Andrew and also to the, to the police force. So it uh, began when I brought some ribbon into town and very quickly realised that everybody felt the same and everybody wanted to show their respects for Andrew and for the police force in general. And th the ribbon took off immediately and by five o'clock Saturday there was hardly a shop without it and those that didn't have it were, didn't have it because they were closed. How do you, have you been surprised by how the community has reacted? Because not everyone knew Andrew Harper but obviously lots of people are willing to show their support for his family absolutely um, actually most people didn't realize just how local Andrew was when they asked for the ribbon they were moved by the case uh, on its own and then it was only as I was giving them the ribbons because nobody was asked to take it everybody that's displaying the ribbons has asked for the ribbon it was only when I was giving out the ribbon that uh, the conversation came up that he was local only from Abingdon. Well, Abingdon's where he worked from. Um, and then I notified them that actually he was a lot more local than that. And that 
just seemed to uh, increase the intensity of the emotions that were being felt at the time. And of course there's a one minute silence being held today at 11 o'clock. It's going to be a very emotional time. How will you be spending that time with friends and family? I think, yes, back here in, in Wallingford, and I think you'll find the support for Andrew is, is countrywide. We've had um, emails from people around the country that feel the same way. Andy Ledbury, um, friend of PC Andrew Harper, and of course organising, organising this Blue Ribbon tribute. Thank you very much for spending time with us on Breakfast this morning. Time now is 8.33. Thames Valley Police Force is going to hold a one-minute silence today at 11 o'clock to remember PC Andrew Harper. He was killed in the line of duty last week. Colleagues in his hometown of Wallingford say they're moved by the amount of support they've received from their local community. Let's go to our reporter, Louisa Curry, who's there for us this morning. Louisa, we're very much getting a, a, an impression of a community that is not only deeply moved but wants to show very clearly the level of support. Absolutely. Uh, Wallingford, PC Harper's hometown, is adorned with blue ribbons today, uh, like this one here in this shop window beside us. Uh, a silent tribute to PC Harper. And as you said there, another uh, tribute will be taking place later this morning, a minute's silence organised by Thames Valley Police. Attending that uh, will be uh, uh, Adrian Tobin, who joins me now, Deputy Chair of uh, Thames Valley Police Federation and also a serving officer. Uh, thank you for speaking to us this morning, Adrian. Um, how have your colleagues at Thames Valley Police been coping over the last week? Well, first of all, I'd like to say our thoughts are and always will be with Andy's wife, family, friends and colleagues. Um, my colleagues have been doing what they do best, they've been professional. Um, we're making sure that we've got all the support there that they possibly need. Anyone within Thames Valley Police that requests support will be getting it and they'll be getting it as long as they need it for and it will be tailored to their specific needs. And what kind of support and help can and, and are you offering? It's, there's a whole host of things from just supporting each other. That's what we always do. The police family will always come together to support each other. And I've seen that right the way through this week. Um, and I've seen that from the lads and lasses that had to deal with the scene. Um, you know, they've turned their thoughts to making sure that they do everything they can to um, support the investigation. And then they're, they're putting them, themselves second to that. So the support is there in, in all manner of forms. Now, there's been a phenomenal response to a Just Giving page set up um, to support PC Harper, uh, his family. Uh, what will that money be used for? Where will that go? Yeah, we've seen now it's just over £262,000, and that's from almost 13,000 supporters, which is amazing and it's very humbling. That money will be um, given to the family, every penny will go to the family, and it will be down to the family to decide how that money is used. Adrian, thank you so much for your time this morning. And that minute's silence will be taking place at 11 o'clock. Louisa, thank you very much. Full cover, of course, on the news channel throughout the morning this morning.